Welcome to All About the Rock Bass. <laughs> yes, I'm Nathan. And I'm Lee. Nice to see you. You got his first year in, right? In oh, the jar. Shit, shit. It's good to be, uh, it's good to start early with these things. Yeah, <laughs> hey, how you doing? Uh, thanks for joining us again. So, Lee, what are we looking at today? Ah, so, we've got some new additions to our bass, some more new additions to the bass range. We have Jackson. Jackson basses. All under about 400, 530 pounds. Uh, a bit of a mixture. Um, so a little bit of a different style as well to what we've we've got at the moment in, in store as well. So, okay. um, so yeah, we, we've done a lot with Jackson guitars over the over the years, and we thought, you know, what, these are some great bases for the money. So, um, so let's just give them a go and see if uh, see if people dig these. Okay. Um, so you'll see a bit of a range. Um, we'll you, we'll see it further in the video. We'll play. We'll go through each one individually so you can hear what's um, what's being played as a bit of a montage, but we won't, uh, we'll just be a bit of an overview today. Um, we've got a couple of David Ellison uh, signature models, so that uh, do from Megadeth. This is his Kelly Bird, as they call. Ah. Lovely, lovely looking thing. I really like that. I'm not one of a sort of odd shape for odd shapes normally, but that I really, really love. Um, and this is his more of a concert concert bass sort of signature version uh, as well. What band was that, did you say again? Megadeth. Uh, right, play Megadeth. me some Megadeth right now. Uh, What's he doing? Uh, so... Cool, that's, that's all the right. only riff I know. <laughs> Do it on this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, this sounds a bit more... It's got a bit more like, uh, rock in it. Ah, oh, f*** it. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right, that's all right. I but think... yeah, something like that. Something like that. Cool. All right, that's, that is very rock indeed. I love it. I love uh, it with the pit. They, they cut through really nicely with the pit as well. Okay, so this is the five string. This is the five string. So this is actually more of a... This is the uh, JS2, I believe it's called. JS2. Uh, five string version. So this is more of their standard range. Okay. And they look look quite similar to the Dave Ellison um, signature there, but this has got the cutouts a little bit further so you can get a little bit further up the, up the neck if, if you need to, up the dusty oh. end. Um, but this one, um, oh no, do, do forgive me. This one is uh, the CBX NT5. Right, that's what I thought. I was going to pick you up on that, but I thought, oh, let it You've already leave it. No, my mistake. So this is their neck through version. This is one of the... That's a catchy name. Yeah, CBX NT5. Right. So uh, this is the first one where it's, it's neck through construction. So this is the higher end of, of the range. This is about 530 pounds. Ooh. Still not very high. Um, oh, still a, a good amount of bass for, for the money. Nice weight to it. Active, I saw the battery thing on the back there. Yes. So we've got some active electronics going on. Active circuitry, that's it. So you've got um, volume for each pickup and your um, active, you've got your bass, bass treble um, and I don't think there's an overall tone 
or is no, it? No, I think that's that's three three band. Uh, it's three band. Yeah, it is. Yeah, three band EQ. Three band EQ and the two two volumes, but it's it's a great looking bass and. Um, so it's, got, yeah, it's got the classic Jackson pointy headstock, of course. Pointy headstock. We're not going to get away from that. Classic shot finning laser that they do across their whole guitar range as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's just say, just something different, different for us. And say, if you if you want something that looks a little bit meaner, I think these look a bit meaner, you know, than what so many some of the stock we've got at the moment. So, um, so yeah, again, they're all in, um, starting from anything for about 240 pounds around. Well, that's this, very reasonable. Yeah, for this uh, JS2 here. Okay. Um, so more of a stripped back basic version. Um, so you've got volume volume for each and a tone. So this is this is a passive passive version of the bass, but um, but yeah, for under 300 pounds. Mm -hmm. you know, it's a great, great looking, great playing bass. And where are these made? These are made in China. Okay. Leaf. Yeah. Uh, oh, so that some of these Indonesian. This is Indonesian made, I believe. Um, these are though. The slightly cheaper ones are Chinese. They are indeed. So these are made in the China factory. Where does it say that? Um, oh, no, should say on the bolt there, man. Is that Chinese? Indonesia. As well? Indonesia. Indonesia. So it yeah. seems to be like the slightly higher end of this range is, is in the Indonesian factory, um, and their JS twos and threes are in the in the the, uh, the Chinese factory. Um, I should just touch on the the other one that's behind me here. This is the JS three. Which, um, so like the JS2, similar sort of body shape, but this has got the active EQ. Right. And you've got a quilt top there as well. So you see the quilt maple ah, top shining through. I thought it was coming in bit. fingerprints. <laughs> yeah, do you know what? It's not very vivid on this particular one, but right. um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is the quilt top version of, of that. So um, so it's, it's just a nice, nice alternative. You know, we've got, um, obviously we've touched on uh, some of the, the Spectre stuff, the Warwick gear that's come through, which sound great with, you know, anything but rocks you know rock bass playing with the uh, the picks they were really really cut through nicely and these are just that that next next bit next bit further i think for the look as well as the the, the tone that people okay are but are they versatile enough to be able to do other things on i would say so i would say so i think because it's like you've got that pickup balancing that you can just you know you can still sweep to the back pickup i like a lot of the back pickup sort of tones for a bass um we'll still get a nice punch punch to that you can roll the tone off and warm it up a little bit if you need um, so I think yeah it's a different versatile bass and if you like the look then yeah it's a it's a winner it's a winner okay well then I suppose really we should uh, we should play them yeah and cool. see what different sounds we can get out of them nice what do you say sounds good sounds good so the sort of construction wise um, you've got on here this is basswood body they use um, so basswood body maple neck rosewood fingerboard um, it's similar on, on the other models we've got here. Um, this is basswood body, um, maple neck, but say so, so this is neck through um, construction. Rosewood board still on this one. And just as the slightly cheaper models, you've got, uh, they use poplar instead of, for the body. So okay. poplar, uh, maple neck, rosewood board, um, and obviously this one, say we, you've got the cork top, maple cork top as well on that. Right. Um, so, uh, but say other than that, this one, these the Dave Ellison models are. I've got the same EQ um, con you know, sort of configuration, same pickups. Uh, believe they're the EMG HZ thirty five B and N. Oh, I see. Nick. Right. And so are these going to sound the same then? These. Two? I guess they'll sound similar. Yeah, I think the with the the body shape may, might make a difference, but. Um, but it should sound you know, very similar with the pickup, so. No, oh, okay. Well, in that case, we should probably look at that and one of these then. Yeah. To, to just highlight the difference. What do you say? Love it. Does it sound Love like it. a good idea? So, look at that. I it's a like beaut. That. Look at that. I really like it. Really, really like it. And obviously this one is the only, only one with the maple board on this as well, as well as the maple neck. So it's a little bit brighter with black block inlays. Which is a little bit different for Jackson, and obviously this is specified by Dave Everson, I guess. But um, they normally go with the shark fin inlays, as you can see on everything else. But this has got the, uh -huh. the black, black blocks. I see. So a little bit more uh, classic, as it looking like a jazz bass, as it were. So, right. next, so, so yeah, should we sound what, see what it sounds like? Let's see what it sounds like. Mm.
What are you thinking? What do you say? Yeah, the, the pickups are nice and pokey. They really, really drive through well. Um, the mid, mid control is nice as well. So that really, you can really hear that um, having a nice effect, nice effect across the board. I tried to keep it mostly, um, you heard the back, the bridge pickup, the neck pickup, but then I kept it as both pickups on when we were playing with the EQ, just so you can hear it overall. Um, but yeah, I like it. I like it. So I like the style. It reminds me of a Thunderbird, you know, like Gibson Thunderbird sort of I style. Think but it's very much along those lines. Yeah, a, yeah. A, bit, a little bit more stylish, actually. And do you know what? It's balanced very nicely. It sits all right. It does, yeah. It sits nicely on the on the leg. Nice. And I so say you'll hear the, um, th this is say, similar setup to the uh, Dave Ellison, the concert model that you've got as well. Um, so it's the same controls for the pickups, same pickups themselves as well. So it uh, shouldn't be too much difference in the sound. Between the, between the body shapes. Okay, all right. And, oh, in that case, uh, shall we look at one of these other ones? Yes, so we'll, we'll look at some stuff with the, the Jackson uh, own pickups in, which are the high output humbuckers they use. Um, I will use, thanks man. Uh, let's have a little look at this one. So this is the JS3Q. So this is the JS3 uh, Jackson concert bass, but with the, the Q is for the quilt. So the quilt top which does look like fingerprints now I'm looking at it. <laughs> it's not very clear, but yeah, I get it. But that's, uh, that's a nice, yeah, a nice looking, nice little feature, nice little looking bass. No, oh, yeah, just filling up again. And high mass bridge, um, you've got overall volume for both pickups, got the pickup balancer, so you sweep between the bridge and the neck, and uh, you've got the bass, middle and treble uh, parts of the EQ there as well. So, shall I give this a go? Give it a go, man. See you, thing. you do that bit, I'll do this bit. Love it. Dust and off some old Metallica licks. Yeah, you're pretty good that. at this. I haven't played that in a while. You're pretty good at this rock my, stuff. My right hand needs some uh, needs some training. <laughs> the galloping can't do it anymore. But yeah, it's cool, isn't it? It's cool. It's, it sounds nice when you say when it's really filled up with the part of the EQ there. So that I think we started off with everything notched, didn't we? And then it's just say just tweaking on. Absolutely. On yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's got loads of loads of, but it's definitely got a rock vibe. It has, and these so the Jackson own own branded pickups, but a uh, high output humbucker, um, and yeah, really cuts through well. So you'll find this yeah, same sort of pickups on this the JS2, which is the this the slightly lower range, uh, or the cheaper cheaper model, uh, but without the active EQ part of it. So okay, um, so but again for two hundred and forty pounds, it's and they look great, they look great. It's a bargain. It's a bargain. And these ones are about three, eight, four. So just under 400. So where you've got the EQ and the quilt top on it as well. Cool. So. That's all right. Great stuff. But again, say just, it's a new addition for us. It's uh, say we've done Jackson guitars for a long, long time. We thought, well, we're neglecting the bass players a bit. So let's, let's get a few models in just to, to test the water and see, see how they go. See what you guys think. But And let us know what you think. No, yeah, please. We get requests for these sort of things all the time. So if you like it, let us know. Leave us some comments. Only Absolutely. nice ones, though. 
please. <laughs> oh, great. All right. Well, I think that wraps us up. Yeah, nice. Uh, should we? Uh, should we just say bye bye to everybody? Yeah, I think we should have some fun as well. Now we're in the we're in the rock vibe. Oh, some watch fun! Out, watch out! Watch out for some fun at the end. Let's <laughs> let's let's mess around a little bit with this. That's a good idea. <laughs> all right. Well, listen. Thanks very much for tuning in. Uh, I've been Nathan. I've been Lee. This is all about the base. If you like it, you click sub- <laughs> click subscribe down, down here somewhere, and uh, come and join us every week for more fun with the base. Is see ya. Yes. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.